This video will cover the topic, rewriting an algebraic expression without a negative exponent. What's the difference between a positive and a negative exponent? Great question! The biggest difference between a positive and a negative exponent is that for a negative exponent, in order to change the negative exponent into a positive, we have to move the base and the exponent to the other side of the fraction bar. How would that work? Well, there are two rules that we need to follow in order to make the negative exponent into a positive. If our exponent is negative n, in order to make it positive, we would move the base and exponent from the numerator to the denominator. This would result in 1 over a to the power n. The second rule deals with a negative exponent in the denominator. If we have 1 over a to the power negative n, we would move our base and exponent from the denominator to the numerator to make the exponent positive. This results in a to the power n. I'm starting to get the concept, but could we go over some example problems? Of course! Let's start with the example problem, negative 4 times m to the power negative 5. Since the negative exponent is in the numerator, we're going to follow rule 1 and move the base and exponent to the denominator to make it positive. This results in our final answer of negative 4 over m to the power 5. Wait, why wouldn't the negative 4 also move to the denominator? If we look at our exponent, it is only attached to our m variable. If there were parentheses around the negative 4 and m, this would indicate that our exponent is attached to both. We only move numbers or variables that are attached to the negative exponent. Now that we have gone over the concept and have done one example problem, would you like to try an example problem that relates to rule 2? I think I'm ready. Great! Your problem is 1 over 3 times y to the power negative 4. Well, if we follow rule 2, then in order to rewrite this using a positive exponent, we would move the base and exponent from the denominator to the numerator. The 3 would stay in the denominator since it is not attached to the base of the negative exponent. This would result in our final answer of y to the fourth over 3. So in conclusion, if we have a negative exponent in our numerator, we move the base and exponent to the denominator in order to make it a positive exponent. On the other hand, if we have a negative exponent in the denominator, then we move our base and exponent to the numerator in order to make it a positive exponent. Great job! It seems like you have an understanding on how to write an algebraic expression without a negative exponent.